Welcome to our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. It's us again, Esme, Roger, and, and welcome, welcome to Roger and Esme Vlogs. So for today's topic is, do Filipina women or Pinays prefer uncut or cut bananas? Okay, before we start, maraming salamat sa yung suporta o pagigogma sa among channel. Thank you so much for your support and love, guys. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like, share, and of course, subscribe, guys. And click the notification bell for new uploads and new updates. Okay, let's start. Uh, do you really? Like Filipina prefers uncut or cut bananas. We'll dig deeper to that, guys. But before that, I want you to know what are the traditional ways way back before how do Filipinos or, yeah, Filipinos circumcise traditionally before. Yes, yeah, so we call it here Tole in the Philippines. And way, way back um, in the province or in the mountain areas, this is really common ways of circumcise or tole. So first, uh, we'll use a knife or a uh, blade. So that is common in the mountain. And um, kids, right after, right after the tole, probably they will jump in the river or uh, the ocean or sea because they believe that um, if you like jump um, into a river or sea, you're or the one would heal like easily. Yes, and some actually guys or kids before they would chew a guava leaf. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and they would put it on the wound so that it would easily heal. True. So. Um, in a traditional way, kids in the mountain or in the province are really brave because there in the mountain, there's no called anesthesia. Yeah, I would say that they have high um, pain tolerance because um, there's no anesthesia there. And of course, that's a sensitive part of a guy, right? Yes. So how about you? Have you been to the doctors or you experienced traditional ways? Traditional way and we call it pok pok. Pok pok and that's the term in the mountain, pok pok. How was the experience? Um, before going to the house of like the, we call it uh, a person who is uh, good doing tole, uh, we have like uh, a feeling or emotion that Scared? Yeah, we're, we're nervous, we're afraid. But if if you are there, like, um, like if, if, if your time already, the, the feeling of like scared or nervous will go away. Like after the one pok pok, like pok. <laughs> And then you can see your skin is already cut. And then you can say, wow, well, that's, the, that's the, the way you can say. Okay, so it was like easy or it, it you would really, like most kids would overthink. They would overthink because of the things that they uh, like heard from yeah, the like previous. Gossips, yeah. You know, from the older ones. Well, for sure, they have that emotion or feelings, but you know, afterwards, it's okay. It's like uh, you are bitten by the, what do you call the ants? Oh, okay. So it's not really that painful okay so we also have this superstitious belief that if a woman or a girl would see your banana it would look like a balloon yeah they always say that but i think that's just like a false belief so now let's go on to our subject so there are like main points also that we need to discuss which is um for you to know the first is hygiene. Next is expectation. And last but not least, awkwardness or awkward. 
Yeah, so let's go with the first one, hygiene. So most women, if they think that the guy, if they know that the guy is uncut, they would think of it, it's smelly, maybe, it's not maybe, but that there is a huge possibility that they could get infection. Yes. Yeah, diseases. Based on the medical term. Yeah, diseases, and of course, they think it smells. True. And the next one is um, expectation. So mostly, or maybe all Pinais, they expect that guys are cut or circumcised. So that's why um, like they prefer. They prefer, right? In general, the second one is expectation. So us, us women would already expect that in general guys are cut already they're circumcised so they would already think that oh you're you're circumcised so um if they know that you're uncut and it's still in the initial stage of meeting up getting to know each other i think they would feel a little bit awkward yes and also um a big turn off for uh, women because yeah they expect that you are cut then knowing that you are you know uncut well maybe um, the next day or next month she will ignores you because you open up but um, if the the woman would uh, accept you yeah would accept you because you are being honest uh, during the first meeting that you 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 shared or opened up that um, so sorry to tell you but I I'm and caught so well that's true love if the the woman accept you yeah if they accept you guys that's already um, a good uh, a good sign yes and then the woman which like um, she will know that you are um, uncut like during your first uh, meeting or making love then she already falls in love with you so it doesn't really matter if you are cut or uncut yeah true and next is awkward embarrassment is uh, some filipinas sometimes they would share their experience with their friends and they partner. yeah their their partner too but yeah um i would say that if their friends would know that their partner is uncircumcised uh i think it would be they would feel embarrassment because some actually would make fun of them uh, your partner is not circumcised he's not uncut uh, probably she will ask uh, or they will ask your partner how's the feeling or uh, during like making love something like that and then maybe um, the gossips will you know right. uh, spread among friends and friends uh, that would be really common here in the Philippines so during like the the talks among friends so for sure uh, it's like a little um, embarrassing embarrassing and awkward to your filipina if uh, she has a partner which is in cut yes true but again guys it doesn't matter if you're cut or uncut once you already build that connection with your your filipina your girlfriend um it doesn't matter yeah. she would accept you yeah once you already build your relationship and she already in love with you so it doesn't really matter as long as yeah um you support her and you love her yeah that's fine that's fine and we also have like friends that um her husband is and god and yeah, they're happily married now yeah they already have two kids guys so thank you so much for really listening till the end guys and i hope that you enjoyed see you in our next vlog bye, bye.